Hello everyone and welcome to Season 6, Episode 43 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host Travis McNeil and today we continue our countdown of the Top 50 matches of 2021 with match number 8 on our list, which is the AEW World Tag Team Title Steel Cage Match between the champions, the Young Bucks of Nick and Matt Jackson, and the challengers, the Lucha Brothers of Ray Fenix and Penta El Zero Miedo from the AEW All Out 2021 event held on September the 5th of 2021. Uh, now, when I do these countdowns, I tend to have a mix of favorite matches and best matches. And there could be a big difference between that. Um, you know, there's matches that you, you watch and you can just appreciate how good they are. Um, but then you have matches that you watch that may not be, you know, the best, but just for whatever reason, you unconditionally love them. And I've had, you know, those favorite matches scattered throughout this list. Um, but this match, you know, although it is absolutely amazing, uh, you know, and it certainly ranks up there for the best, it's not the best match of 2021. Uh, however, I'm going to go on record and say it was my favorite match of 2021, one of my favorite matches of all time, uh, just with how satisfying it was. And it's a match that I will always, you know, for the rest of my days, fondly remember watching from the live wrestling experience. Um, I love the Lucha Brothers. I love Lucha Underground. I've done a season on the top 50 matches in Lucha Underground history. I've said that the best thing that Lucha Underground gave to us as a wrestling public is our first real big exposure to both Phoenix and Pentagon. Uh, the fact that they got this moment and they got this match uh, was just, it was so incredible to me. Um, they are guys that are amazing, that, you know, have been presented very well in AEW, but also at times felt a little lost in the shuffle. Um, they won the Tag Team Eliminator Tournament to get this title shot. Um, I thought for sure that match was uh, the Jurassic Express's, uh, you know, it was their tournament to win um, and that they would face the Bucks. Um, but, you know, we, we got this and I was super happy about it. Uh, we got the cage match stipulation added because the Bucks had had so much interference, you know, in all of their uh, their matches leading up to this. Um, so this would keep everybody out and it would determine a, a fair fight. Um, and this was, you know, kind of the, the blow off to the big, uh, you know, matches, uh, you know, feuds that these guys have had. Uh, they wrestled at the first double or nothing. Um, they wrestled at the first all out in a ladder match. Um, and, and here we are. Um, you know, two years later with them, with the blow off at a cage match. And the, the ironic thing is, um, as of me recording this video, uh, they're actually scheduled to wrestle each other tonight on AEW Rampage, um, as luck would have it. Uh, but this match was all about making the Lucha Brothers, who should be two of the most marketable stars that AEW has. Um, they are, you know, luchadors, so it, it taps into that, you know, Mexican and Latino fan base. Um, these are also two of the coolest looking wrestlers, specifically Pentagon on the roster. If you want to appeal to children and make action figures and video games, Penta is the dude to do it with because he looks so cool. He looks like he's a character from Mortal Kombat. Um, so they, you know, present Phoenix and Pentagon so well. They give him this big entrance with a rapper rapping their music live, pyro and fire, and they come out with these big elaborate headdresses. Um, and for the first time, you know, really in their AEW careers, they are presented as true main eventers. Um, the Young Bucks, you know, bless their hearts. They are two of the most incredible wrestlers ever. They go above and beyond this match to make the Lucha Brothers look spectacular. And the thing I really love about this match is it's a steel cage match that maybe, you know, better than any cage match I've ever seen before really utilizes the cage as a weapon and, you know, really takes full advantage of the fact that this is a match held within the confines of the cage. Um, they keep the interference out, which was the design of it, um, but they use the cage so well throughout and make it seem like this lethal weapon that, you know, both teams can really utilize to inflict punishment on their opponents. Um, and that's established right away. You know, this is a big, you know, grudge match feel. It's this big blow off, um, you know, that, that we've been waiting years for. Uh, they start out throwing fists and the Bucks, you know, immediately try to escape. And immediately they establish the story of there is no escape in the steel cage. Um, Ray Fenix cuts them off with a big, like, catapult drop kick to knock them both off the cage. Um, Nick Jackson tries, you know, for a springboard and gets shoved right back into the cage. 
Um, you know, they, they really utilize it. And then there's this awesome moment um, where both uh, Nick Jackson and uh, Ray Phoenix, um, you know, they, they both go for like an Escalera holding their opponent's hands. They both end up on the top rope and Phoenix hits a big Hurricane Rana. It's just mind-blowing. Uh, Nick Jackson and Phoenix have some of the best chemistry out of opponents that I've ever seen. Um, it's crazy. They're both, you know, tag team wrestlers primarily, but they excel in singles. And if you've never seen their singles match um, from one of the early episodes of Dynamite in 2009, or pardon me, 2019, go out of your way to see it because it's phenomenal. Um, the Lucha Bros really roll through the opening here. They hit big like double spears into the cage. Um, they miss, um, you know, a, a second set. Um, and they both take nasty bumps. Phoenix takes like a brutal power bomb into the cage. Uh, Penta gets wedged in between the cage and the ring apron and eats a big kick from Nick Jackson. Um, Phoenix again is just amazing where he avoids a, a second power bomb into the cage and, and counters it with a Hurricane Rana uh, and hits an Escalera arm drag but like kicks off the cage to hit it uh, because he is one of the most athletically gifted incredible professional wrestlers I've ever seen. He's one of my favorites of all time. Um, but the, you know, the, the, the Lucha Brothers, they get rolling in this match, uh, but they go for the big finish too early. They go for the package pile driver double stomp combo. Uh, Phoenix gets shoved back into the cage. Um, the Young Bucks lock like a sharpshooter cross face combo on Pentagon while he's, you know, in between the, the cage and the, the ring apron and, and the ring ropes. Um, Phoenix, you know, tries to dive into stop, but he eats a big double super kick while he's springboarding back into the cage. Um, and the, the Bucks just go on a rampage and really turn this match around and really build the heat. Um, they hit low blows and they rip at the masks and Brandon Cutler tosses a bag over the top of the cage, which has, you know, the, the thumbtack Jordan, um, that, you know, we've, we've seen the Young Bucks use in Pro Wrestling Gorilla for, but, you know, bringing it to the mainstream, the, the AEW. Um, and the, there's a great moment, you know, where they, um, you know, set to hit the thumbtack super kick on Phoenix and Pentagon dives in the way of his younger brother, you know, being the, the older brother and, and takes the bullet and takes that thumbtack super kick. Um, it looks like the Bucks are going to have the match won with the BTE trigger, but Phoenix, you know, dives in to save his brother this time and he eats the thumbtack super kick. Um, and then in my favorite moment of the match, the Bucks hit the BTE trigger on, on Pentagon. It seems like even though the match hasn't been going that long, that that could be the finish. Um, and it's, uh, uh, Phoenix makes the save at the last moment and the crowd pop, uh, for that, you know, near fall is, is one of the best I've ever heard. The crowd loses their mind, you know, just because the match is going to go on and the team they want to win is still in the fight. It's magical pro wrestling. The crowd on that night for All Out is amazing. It's maybe the best pay-per-view of all time. Um, we're, we're not done talking about that pay-per-view. So you know, we'll, we'll really get to that at another point. Uh, but that near fall is incredible. Uh, Phoenix, you know, even though it's a, a cage match, there's not really tags. He goes on this amazing like house of fire run like he would off a hot tag. He ducks, you know, a, a thumbtack boot. Um, he hits, um, gets, you know, back body dropped and turns it into a Hurricane Rana because he's incredible. He hits both of the Bucks with the thumbtack sneaker. Um, you know, it really starts to get rolling. They try for the package pile driver double stomp again and he gets pushed into the cage, but this time he clings to it like Spider-Man because he is amazing. Um, Nick Jackson, you know, not to be outdone, climbs the cage as well. These two really have a game of can you top this throughout the match. Um, but in a moment that I love, you know, the older brothers, they both try to talk some sense into their, their younger brothers and they both pull them down from the cage. But it leads to this moment where Matt and Pentagon hit stereo package pile drivers on the ring apron and then just have this great stare down and then roll into the ring and, and start trading fists. Um, it's, this match is just full of great visual stuff like that and it, it really, really works. Um, Pentagon ends up hitting a super Canadian destroyer on Matt. Uh, that's been a recurring move throughout their their rivalry. He hit it off the ladder through a table in their ladder match. So it leads to, you know, this big moment with all four men down. They all get back up and all four hit, hit each other with a super kick simultaneously and go back down. Um, the Lucha Brothers finally, you know, uh, get the, the package pile driver double stop combo after teasing it all match long. But it's broken up to extend the match. 
Um, and it leads to, to our finish, uh, directly into our finish where, um, you know, Pentagon, this time he tells Phoenix to go up after, you know, trying to bring him down earlier. He says, go to the top. We're going to hit the, the double stomp package off the top of the cage, which would be madness. Phoenix would break his legs. But, um, you know, I, I, I love it. It's almost this great callback to the Triple X in America's Most Wanted cage match in TNA where, you know, after the regular death sentence, they're like, let's do it from the top, you know, to, to be the big coup de grace. Uh, Nick Jackson kind of comes out of nowhere, hits a super kick on, uh, on Pentagon, tries to climb as well. That's been the story of the match. Phoenix and Nick, you know, both climbing at the same time constantly. Um, and in the lead up to this match, you know, my mind went wild with what kind of spots is Phoenix going to try to do that he's in a cage? Is he going to try to walk along the top of the cage like Elix Skipper? Um, and there's, you know, th this insane moment that I feel gets like lost in the shuffle of this match uh, where Nick is, is climbing the cage and as he's kind of like head level with the top of the cage, Phoenix runs, doesn't walk, runs along the top of the cage and hits a big running kick to Nick to send him crashing down. Um, if you look really closely at the top of the cage, which is, is kind of like, you know, uh, crisscross of bars, there is, you know, a piece of metal, you know, that, that Phoenix was able to run across. So it wasn't like he was, you know, super kind of teetering on, on really thin, you know, piping. Uh, but that said, the fact that this man was running on the top of the cage you know, covered in sweat and blood and everything else throughout this match, 20 minutes into it. And if he slipped, he would have, you know, fell to his, plummeted to, to terrible injury or worse to the floor. Um, just shows what a lunatic he is uh, and what a daredevil he is. Um, but then, you know, to, to top all of that off, he ends up hitting, you know, a crazy cross body block off the top of the cage onto both bucks below. He got crazy height off of it. It was amazing. Um, that takes the bucks out and it's one final move, a combination Tiger uh, Driver 98 Tombstone from the Lucha Brothers that are able to win them the AEW World Tag Team titles. The crowd is unglued. Just the, the pure emotion that both of these guys have, you know, coming up through Mexico, through AAA, in the Lucha Underground and finally getting their moment. It's beautiful. They're both in tears. Um, Pentagon's family and kids are at ringside and there's a disgustingly beautiful moment where he's out there, you know, kissing his kids and he's getting his kids covered in his blood, but it's just, it's real, it's raw, it's emotional, it's everything I love about pro wrestling encapsulated in one beautiful moment. At home, you know, like I, I was getting into it, you know, watching this, that two of my favorite wrestlers, you know, finally got that moment and, and reached the top. It's, it's just beautiful, beautiful wrestling. Uh, I will never forget this match as long as I live uh, watching it, you know, on the pay-per-view. Uh, I was blown away. Uh, couldn't believe it. I was texting with a casual friend fan afterward that was also watching the show about how amazing it was. Um, I've, I've watched it multiple times now throughout the rest of my life. I will continue to watch it multiple times. It is everything I love about wrestling. Um, and I'm so happy that AEW put it out there. Um, like whenever we discuss an AEW match, um, if you are outside the U.S., you can watch this on Fight TV. Or if you're inside the U.S., you can order the on-demand replay on Bleacher Report. Uh, it's available on DVD through shopaew.com. And I'm sure at some point we will see this on some sort of an AEW on-demand service in the future. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so that you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50. And please join me again next time as we continue to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50.